China, it's home to one of the world's largest and fastest growing digital marketplaces, and its app ecosystem is a reflection of its dynamic and innovative culture. From social media platforms to mobile payment apps to e-commerce giants, there are countless Chinese apps that have gained an immense popularity. So for today's video, I'm going to explore 15 of the most popular Chinese apps. Number 15. Sina Weibo Sina Weibo is one of the most popular social media platforms in China. It's often referred to as the Twitter of China. It was launched in 2009 by the Chinese tech company Sina Corporation. Weibo has become a major player in the Chinese social media market, with over 500 million registered users. The platform allows users to create short-form posts, or Weibo, which can include text, photos, videos, and other multimedia content. Weibo users can follow and interact with each other by commenting on posts, reposting content, and sending private messages, with other available features including live streaming, online shopping, and gaming. In a similar way to Twitter, Weibo has verified accounts typically held by celebrities, public figures, and organizations that are marked with a blue V symbol to indicate their authenticity. This feature has helped to build trust and credibility on the platform, and it's been used as a way for businesses to market themselves to a larger audience. Since launching, Weibo has been a significant player in shaping public opinion in China and has been used to spread news and information about current events and as a platform for political discourse and social activism. This, though, has allowed the Chinese government to use Weibo to monitor and censor content that it deems sensitive or politically sensitive, such as discussions of human rights or criticisms of political institutions. Number 14. Kugo Music Kugo Music is the largest music streaming platform in China, with over 800 million registered users. Launched in 2004 by the Chinese company Kugo Technology, the platform has become one of the most popular destinations for Chinese music lovers. It offers a wide range of music genres including pop, rock, hip-hop, and classical music. It's become a hub for emerging and independent artists, too, with many using Kugo Music as a way to reach new audiences and promote their music. One feature of the platform that helped it beat the competition is its social networking features that allow users to interact with each other by following and commenting on each other's playlists, sharing music recommendations, and connecting with other users who have similar musical tastes. This feature has also helped to build a strong sense of community on the platform, and has been used as a way for artists and labels to engage with their fans and build their fan base. As well as streaming pre-recorded audio, Google Music has become a popular destination for online music concerts and live performances. The platform has hosted numerous virtual concerts featuring popular Chinese artists, and this particularly came into its own during the COVID-19 pandemic when in-person concerts and events were not possible. Now it's a major player in the Chinese music industry, with many artists and record labels using the platform as a way to distribute and monetize their music. Kugo Music offers a range of subscription plans too, including a free plan with ads and a premium plan with no ads, and additional features that fund a range of monetization options for artists, including streaming royalties and revenue sharing agreements. Number 13. iQiyi iQiyi is a leading Chinese online streaming service platform that offers a wide range of video content, including movies, TV dramas, variety shows, documentaries, and cartoons. The platform was launched in 2010 by Baidu, one of the largest tech companies in China, and it's since become a popular destination for online video content. The platform has a huge focus on original content production, and it's invested heavily in producing its own movies, TV dramas, and variety shows. These productions have become very popular among Chinese audiences, and many of them have won awards both domestically and internationally. It's not just about getting content either, it's got a number of interactive features such as user-generated content, live streaming, and virtual reality experiences. These have helped to build a strong sense of community on the platform, and they've been used as a way for users to engage with each other and with the content that they're watching. While in the mainstream, it is a huge success. Like many other Chinese online platforms, ITE has faced criticism for its content censorship policies. The Chinese government has strict regulations on the type of content that can be shown. And iQiyi has been criticized for its compliance with these regulations, which include banning content that's deemed politically sensitive or harmful to society. So it's not exactly as balanced as the video streaming platform people outside of China are familiar with. Number 12. Pinduoduo Pinduoduo is a Chinese e-commerce platform that was founded in 2015 by Colin Huang, a former Google engineer. With over 800 million active buyers, it's become one of the fastest-growing e-commerce platforms in China. Pinduoduo has a unique business model that combines social networking with e-commerce. 
It allows users to team up with their friends and family members to purchase products in bulk at discounted prices. And this approach has helped to build a strong sense of community on the platform, and it's seen as a way for users to save money on their purchases. The platform's also become a regular destination for small and medium-sized businesses that want to reach a larger audience, offering tools and resources to help companies set up their online stores, advertise their products, and manage their inventory. Pinduoduo's innovative use of technology, including artificial intelligence and machine learning, has allowed the company to analyze user behavior and preferences, and recommends products to users based on their interests and past purchases. This feature has helped to improve the user experience on the platform, and it's been used as a way for businesses to target their advertising to specific audiences. It's undoubtedly been a success, but Pinduoduo has faced criticism and become renowned for issues such as counterfeit products and poor customer service. To address these concerns, the platform has taken steps to improve its quality control process and strengthen its customer service operations, and it is making strides towards becoming far more reliable and user-friendly. Number 11. Youku Youku is a Chinese online video streaming platform that offers a diverse range of content, from movies and TV dramas to documentaries and cartoons. It was launched in 2006. The platform has become a significant player in the Chinese entertainment industry, with over 580 million monthly active users. One of the platform's key strengths is its focus on original content production and as well as licensing content from other producers. It's invested mainly in producing high-quality original content, including movies and TV shows. Many of these productions have won awards and become popular among Chinese audiences, too. It began as a site like YouTube that focuses on user-generated content, but has shifted in recent years to prioritize professionally produced videos from select people. Yuku also offers interactive features such as live streaming and virtual reality experiences, which have helped to build a strong sense of community on the platform. Users can engage with each other and with the content they're watching through these features, creating a social experience that goes beyond traditional video streaming. Yuku is seen now in the industry as an important platform for artists and production companies looking to distribute and monetize their content, with a range of subscription plans including a free plan with ads and a premium plan with no ads and additional features. The platform also offers monetization options for artists such as licensing fees and revenue sharing agreements, and it's been credited with giving opportunities to creators who would otherwise never had a chance. Number 10. Tencent Video Tencent Video is one of the most popular Chinese online video streaming platforms, which offers a wide range of video content including movies, TV dramas, variety shows, documentaries, and cartoons. Launched in 2011 by Tencent, one of the largest tech companies in China, the platform has gained a significant following of over 120 million paying subscribers, making it the fourth largest video streamer in the world. One of the clever features of Tencent Video has helped its popularity is its integration of other Tencent products, such as WeChat and QQ. Users can share and watch videos directly within these platforms, creating a seamless experience for Tencent users. This integration has helped to increase the reach of Tencent Video and has made it more convenient for users to access their favorite content. As well as entertainment shows, there's also a platform to watch the majority of international sports events, such as NBA games and other special features that Tencent has acquired the rights to, making it a must-have service in China. Number 9. Kuai Shou Kuai Shou, or Kuai, is a popular Chinese short video platform that was launched in 2011 by the tech company Kuai Shou Technology. The platform's gained significant popularity in China with over 400 million active daily users. The platform's main feature is its short-form video content, which allows users to share videos of up to 60 seconds long. The platform offers a wide range of content, including daily life moments, short skits, and educational videos, and it's become a popular destination for content creators to showcase their talents, with many having become celebrities on the back of launching themselves on the platform. Guaishou has a strong focus on live streaming, which has become a significant part of the content that's available. Users can live stream their activities ranging from cooking and playing video games to performing music and hosting Q&A sessions. And this has become a popular way for users to engage with each other and for businesses to reach a wider audience. Another unique feature of Kwai is its e-commerce capabilities, as it now has a built-in e-commerce system that allows users to purchase products directly from the app. This has become a popular feature for small businesses to reach a larger audience and for users to purchase products they have seen in videos. Number 8. Gaude Map Gaude Map, also known as Oronevi, is a Chinese digital map and navigation service provider that launched in 2006. The platform offers users a wide range of mapping and navigation services, including driving and walking directions, real-time traffic updates, and points of interest. 
One of the most useful features of Gaudé Map is its highly detailed and accurate mapping system. The platform provides users with real-time traffic data, including congestion information, road closures, and accidents, helping drivers find the most efficient route to their destination. The platform also offers a range of places of interest, including restaurants, gas stations, and tourist attractions, allowing users to find nearby services and amenities easily. With such a wealth of data on the platform, it's become popular for ride-hailing services in China and has been integrated with companies like Didi Chuxing, allowing users to easily book and track their rides. This has helped to make Gaudé Map a one-stop shop for transportation services in the country. Interestingly, though, the mapping service is only available when you're in China, so isn't accessible at all outside the country. Despite its popularity, Gaudé Map has, however, caused concern because of its data collection policies. It collects a significant amount of user data, including location data and search history, which has caused worries about how it's being used and shared. Number 7. Taobao Taobao is a popular Chinese e-commerce platform that was launched in 2003 by the Alibaba Group. It's one of the largest online marketplaces in the world, with over 800 million active users. The platform offers a wide range of products and services, including clothing, electronics, home goods, and more. One of the ways Taobao has become so integral to Chinese life is its focus on consumer-to-consumer -consumer and business-to-consumer sales. This allows individual sellers and businesses to create their own online storefronts to sell products directly to consumers. So as a result, it's become a popular platform for small businesses and entrepreneurs to sell their products and reach a wider audience. Taobao is also known for its integration with Alibaba's digital payment platform, Alipay, giving users a secure and convenient way to make purchases. Another unusual aspect to the platform is its gamification features, such as its virtual currency and loyalty programs, which further incentivize users to engage with the platform and to make more purchases, creating a more engaging and enjoyable shopping experience. As with other online marketplaces, Taobao has faced issues with counterfeit products and intellectual property infringement, and has been in a constant battle to try to eliminate these. Number 6. Sogu Input Sogu Input is a popular Chinese language input method editor developed by the tech company Sogu Incorporated. It was launched in 2006. The platform provides users with a convenient way to input Chinese characters on their devices, including smartphones and computers. Beyond simply doing the basics, it comes with a predictive text input system and uses machine learning algorithms to predict and suggest the most likely word or phrase that the user intends to type. Based on the context and the user's typing history, this has made Sogu Input a popular choice for users who want to type Chinese characters more efficiently and accurately. The platform also offers a range of other features too, including handwriting recognition, voice input, and intelligent correction, all of which help to improve its accuracy and eliminate errors that can fundamentally change the tone and content of the translation. Furthermore, Sogu Input has become known for its focus on user privacy and security, with the platform implementing advanced security measures, including encryption and data privacy protection, to ensure that users' personal information is protected while using it. It's apps like these that help people in China to quickly navigate between different languages that are based on different writing systems, and what would have previously taken hours to correctly do now just takes a matter of seconds. Number 5. Baidu Input Baidu Input is a Chinese language input method editor developed by the tech giant Baidu. The platform was launched in 2007 and has since become a popular choice for users to looking to type Chinese characters more efficiently and accurately on their devices. Something that's particularly impressive about Baidu Input is its ability to handle multiple input methods, including pinyin, handwriting recognition, and voice input. This provides users with a range of options to input Chinese characters that best suit their needs, preference, and technical know-how. Baidu Input also boasts a highly accurate predictive text input system that uses advanced artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies to suggest the most likely word or phrase based on the context and the user's typing history. And this feature helps users to type more quickly and accurately, saving time and reducing the risk of typos. In addition to its predictive text input system, Baidu Input offers a range of other useful features. These include intelligent correction, customizable skins, and the ability to create custom phrases and shortcuts for frequently used words or phrases. The platform also enables users to switch between simplified and traditional Chinese characters, making it a popular choice for users from both mainland China and Taiwan. Baidu Input has also made significant investments in artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies, which have helped to improve the accuracy and speed of its predictive text input system. 
and it's recently introduced new features such as the AI-powered translation tool that allows users to translate text from Chinese to English and vice versa, as well as a feature called Copy to Translate that allows users to translate text directly from any app by copying the text and selecting the Translate option on the keyboard. Number 4. Alipay Alipay is a leading digital payment platform that's transformed the way people in China and around the world conduct financial transactions. Founded in 2004 by the Alibaba Group, Alipay was initially developed as an escrow payment service to facilitate online transactions in the e-commerce platform. But it's now grown to become one of the most widely used digital payment solutions in the world, with over a billion active users. The platform allows users to make payments through their smartphones or other digital devices, providing a secure and convenient alternative to traditional payment methods such as cash or credit cards. Alipay offers a wide range of payment options, including QR code payments, barcode payments, and contactless payments. And users can link their accounts to their bank accounts, credit cards, or other payment methods to facilitate easy and seamless transactions. One of the main focuses of Alipay is its security, and to this end, the platform uses advanced encryption and authentication technologies to protect user data and prevent fraud. For example, users are required to enter a six-digit password or use biometric authentication, such as fingerprint recognition or facial recognition, to access their accounts. And even if that's done successfully, Alipay also uses artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms to analyze user behavior to detect any potential fraud or security threats. As well as payment options, Alipay offers a wide range of other financial products and services, such as wealth management, insurance, and credit scoring. The platform's wealth management services allow users to invest in a range of products, including money market funds, mutual funds, and fixed income products. And insurance services provide users with coverage for a range of risks, including health, travel, and accidents. It's also got a credit scoring system that evaluates users' credit worthiness based on their financial behavior and provides them with a credit score that can be used to apply for loans or other financial products with Alipay and other providers. The innovation underpinning the platform has meant that Alipay has become a dominant force in the global digital payment market, with a presence in over 200 countries and regions. And as more people around the world embrace digital payments, it's well positioned to continue its growth and expansion in the years ahead. Number 3. QQ Tencent QQ, commonly known as QQ, is a messaging app and social media platform that was launched by Chinese tech giant Tencent in 1999. Initially, it was designed as an instant messaging service. QQ has since evolved into a comprehensive social media platform with a wide range of features and functions. It's mostly known for its messaging capabilities whereby users can send text messages, voice messages, and multimedia messages to each other, as well as make voice and video calls. QQ also offers a range of emoticons and stickers that users can use to express themselves in their conversations. In addition to these traditional messaging services, QQ also has a range of social networking features that allow users to connect with each other and share content. Users can create profiles, add friends, join groups based on their interests, and access a news feed feature that allows them to see updates from their friends and groups, as well as trending topics and news articles. QQ has become a hugely popular platform in China, with over 800 million registered users, mainly thanks to its user-friendly interface, wide range of features, and strong social networking capabilities. QQ is particularly popular among young people who use the platform to connect with friends, share content, and stay up to date with the latest trends and news. And it's now trying to expand into older age groups with new aspects such as online gaming, e-commerce, and payment services. Its online gaming platform is particularly popular in China with a range of popular titles such as Honor of Kings and Crossfire. And it now has an increasingly popular e-commerce platform called QQ Mall, which allows users to shop for a wide range of products, including clothing, electronics, and cosmetics. Number 2. Douyin Douyin, also known as TikTok in other countries, is a social media platform that allows users to create and share short-form videos with a global audience. Launched in China in 2016 by ByteDance, Douyin has quickly become one of the most popular social media platforms in the world, with over a billion monthly active users. The platform's popularity can be attributed to its user-friendly interface and engaging content. Douyin's algorithm recommends videos to users based on their interests, past viewing behavior, and location, creating a personalized experience for each user. It also provides a surprisingly powerful suite of editing tools, filters, and special effects, making it easy to create professional-looking videos. Douyin has become particularly popular among young people who use the platform to create and share viral videos. 
The platform's focus on short-form videos and user-generated content has also led to the emergence of a new generation of social media influencers who have built large followings and monetized their content through sponsorships and advertising. In addition to its social media features, Douyin has become an important marketing and e-commerce platform in China, where brands can create their own Douyin accounts and use the platform to reach a large and engaged audience. Offering a range of e-commerce features such as live streaming, shopping, and in-app purchases, brands can sell products directly to users on the platform. Its success in China has also led to its expansion into other markets, including the United States, Europe, and other parts of Asia. In an attempt to quell fears of the involvement by the Chinese government, though, Douyin and its international version called TikTok are completely separate platforms despite being run on the same algorithm. Number 1. WeChat WeChat is a multifunctional social media platform that was launched in China in 2011 by Tencent. It's become one of the most popular social media platforms in the world, with over a billion monthly active users who all rely on the platform's wide range of features and functions, making it a comprehensive app that can be used for communication, social networking, entertainment, and e-commerce. At its core is its messaging capabilities. In a similar way to WhatsApp, users can send text messages, voice messages, and multimedia messages to each other, as well as make voice and video calls. WeChat's also got a range of stickers and emojis that users can use to express themselves in their conversations and allows users to create group chats and send messages to multiple people at once. In addition to its messaging features, WeChat has a range of social networking features too that allow users to connect with each other and share content, with user profiles and the ability to add friends and join groups based on their interest. WeChat also has a moments feature that allows users to share updates, photos, and videos with their friends and followers. It is a popular platform for entertainment too with a range of games, music, and video content available. Users can play games, listen to music, and watch videos directly within the app. And its video platform, WeChat Video, allows users to watch short-form videos similar to those on TikTok. As well as all the communication and entertainment features, WeChat has also now become an important e-commerce platform in China and offers a number of features such as WeChat Pay, which allows users to make payments directly within the app. Users can also shop on WeChat Mini programs, which are small apps within the WeChat app that allows users to buy products, book services, and of course, order food. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.